Hi, welcome to the Libertarian Alternative. My name is Mark Selzer, and the Libertarian Alternative is an educational television show brought to your community by the Libertarian Party. Today we have the controversial uh, David Horowitz on the program. And, uh, well, I don't have as much on the war, we're, we're, we're getting off on all kinds of different subjects, but you know, I don't have as much faith that uh, we can really fix these things with the military overseas. I'm, I'm pretty skeptical about well, that. Well, you, you know? know, I don't know that we can fix anything, but the fact is, if we hadn't taken Saddam Hussein down, we would have had to withdraw those troops. He would be now in possession of nuclear weapons and chemical weapons and biological weapons, and uh, he was a maniac, and uh, we know he would have used them, and we would be in a much worse situation than we are now. Gaddafi would still have the largest chemical weapons factory in the third world, which he has kindly shut down out of fear of following Saddam into the uh, hole that he was found in. Uh, he has shut down his nuclear weapons lab. Uh, there are 30 million women in Iraq and Afghanistan have, have the vote for the first time since the Garden of Eden. The uh, prisons for t four to 12 year olds have been shut down. The plastic shredders are no longer shredding human beings. Um, in Lebanon, we have a movement for democracy. The Saudis want to let women vote. The Egyptians want to hold an election. These are all really good things that have come because of George Bush and Dick Cheney and uh, Donald Rumsfeld. And I'm not sure, well, I'm, I'm much more skeptical about those things than you are. Um, the well, you don't want to recognize the evil that exists in oh, the world. Oh, I, I recognize the evil, it's just when... Well, how would you have stopped Hitler? Well, that is a different story. Why is it different? Because After all, I don't see uh, I don't see Saddam Hussein as a as a threat to the United States. The fact of the matter is that Saddam was a threat to us because he had swallowed Kuwait. He wanted to control Middle Eastern oil, which would have meant uh, is is the life uh, you know industrial lifeblood of all of Europe and a good part of the United States. He was building. Uh, uh, he spent $40 billion on a nuclear program. The only reason he wasn't gassing the Kurds and building a nuclear program was because of us. Uh, if we had done nothing and backed down, today we would be facing a monster threat. If We wouldn't be at war already. He would be funding suicide bombers in the United States. Or maybe the other people in the Middle East would have taken care of him at that point. Dream on. <laughs> Uh, that, for, what are you talking about? Why is about? it our responsibility the, to be the police force? Of because the world? we're the only one to do it. You don't. I mean, if you have a world in which is natural state is war, it's always been. There's always since 1945. There's always been 40 wars going on. The natural state of human beings is war and countries. And the only time there's peace is if you have a concert of powers or one power. Rome in its day, America today. And that's the only thing that keeps peace. Well, I can agree with you that with everything about these people are awful, these people are terrible. But you know, we've had, uh, for instance, in Watts, we've had 40 years and 40 billion dollars of government programs. I've driven through there. It's it's still a slum. Okay, I'm sure when I drive well, through, I, we don't have any disagreement on government programs. When I, well, I'm sure when I drive through Iraq 40 years from now, 400 billion dollars later, it's not going to be oh, democracy, and there's going to be someone as in power it, worse. So not I, Saddam Hussein held a conference for international terrorists right before he was overthrown. Sarkawi was there, Abu Abbas was there, Abu Nidal was there. He was sponsoring suicide bombers in the Middle East. If the United States hadn't gone on, there would have been a nuclear war in the Middle East. I mean, Israel probably would have had to take out um, either the Iranian, you know, or, or Saddam's as they did in uh, 1981 when they took out the Jacques Chirac financed and since a Cyric nuclear reactor. It's a very dangerous world and most people, most countries, um, are willing to appease and to support dictators like Saddam, France, Russia, you know, all of Europe except for um, you know, except for Tony Blair. Well, Iraq, even England, if it were for I, Tony Iraq Blair. couldn't even defeat uh, Iran in a war. Yeah, that's partly because... So I don't know, I don't see how dangerous they were. It, but I, even well, in the Middle East. Like everybody on your side of this <laughs> argument, you just forget 9-11. No, the, I'm not forgetting 9-11. Oh, you're totally forgetting 9-11 because 9-11, if it had been followed, 
took $600 billion out of the economy in, a, in an hour. It bankrupted, in effect, the airlines industries that had to be bailed out. It took the economy down. If they had been able to follow that with a series, remember there were going to, the rumors they were going to bomb the malls, they would have taken down the United States economy and the world economy. Not that big a problem. So get, get the people responsible for 9 11. We have. They're still free. No. You, Osama bin Laden has been dead for about three or four years. What is his, his big terrorist act? which was the elections, that's where all the chatter was to send a videotape to Algeria, Al Jazeera. He has been effectively neutralized. Do I get you recognize that? The Al Qaeda is a, is, a, is a toothless organization at this point. Uh, you know, it's, it's uh, Zarqawi and the people who are in Iraq and we are killing them. Uh, I, I was not fast enough. Uh, but the reason we can't kill them faster is because of the Democratic Party and libertarians like you <laughs> who are not supporting the president. I think what we should be doing is getting the people responsible for 9-11. That I would agree with you on. Absolutely it's not the people, 100%. it's radical Islam. It's 150 million people if you want to look at it that way. This is a Wahhabi, uh, uh, you know, Islamic faith. You, it's not like it's a little gang that you can just go round up. We have taken out something like two-thirds or more of the Al-Qaeda leadership. We have made Osama bin Laden a non-actor for whatever it is now, four years. You wouldn't have bet, there's nobody in this country who would have bet on 9-12 that we wouldn't have been attacked again on our own territory. Why? Why wouldn't you have bet that we wouldn't have had another terrorist attack? Because you know we have no borders and so does everybody else. The only reason we haven't been attacked is because George Bush and Dick Cheney have taken the war to the enemy camp, kept them off balance, cut them off at the knees. They're doing exactly what they should be doing. And, the, and the, we'd be doing a hell of a lot better if we didn't have the New York Times and John Kerry and the Democratic Party encouraging our enemies. Well, I see that uh, we're, we're turning Iraq and Afghanistan into giant Indian reservations in the middle of the Middle well, East. Well, as long as we have a huge programs. military base and a huge CIA base bordering on Syria and Iran, we're better off than if we don't. I think, uh, yeah, but this is more of a welfare project than it is anything else. I mean, the, how You're much of this money is going into social programs for Iraqis and for the it's people of It's all about, it's, it's about power. And we want to be the power in the Middle East. So Saddam Hussein and... Uh, but we haven't caught him. What's his if, name? He's dead. If he would have He's dead. I repeat it. He's dead. I haven't seen proof of that. He doesn't. You have seen proof. What has he done in four years? What has his signature on it besides videotapes? They have. Uh, well, no, he. Osama bin Laden put, has been effectively neutralized. If we would have put the money that we put into catching, uh, into going into Iraq, into catching Osama bin Laden. We would have left Gaddafi with his chemical weapons laboratory, Saddam with his suicide bombers. His, I, I happen to agree with Laurie uh, Milroy that Saddam had a role in the World Trade, both World Trade Center bombings and the embassy bombings. But I want to see but, proof of that. Where's the proof? That's okay. You, you know? are, I, I want to tell you, you are a libertarian privileged <laughs> to live in freedom because of George Bush and Dick Cheney. And if I, you had people that reflected your views, we'd be in a hell of a lot of trouble. I would like to see America protected here, I think, at our We cannot protect our ourselves. We don't have borders. We can't even get borders in place. We can't even control our own. We have 11 million illegals here, among whom are hundreds of thousands, or at least 100,000, from the terrorist uh, Arab Muslim Middle East, who we don't I, know who they I, are or where they are. I just don't have your faith in government. I just don't have the faith that you yeah, have. You don't need faith. It's